Hi, welcome to this um, old computer system. I have a basement, and in my basement all my PCs go to die. Right. It's like uh, Joe goes sometimes, it's in my man cave. It's all the old relics are there, even an Atari Mega One is still there. I must have given the 1040 away or something, but that's gone. So, history, right? But I just put this one back into service. This is the machine that created in three years or four years ago the Arch Labs, right? That's where we all started in Arch Labs and then split off and went our own way with Arch Merch and later on Arclinux. So it's an old machine, it's a quad, that's it, the quad core. So it built whoa, over 100 Arch Labs ISOs and time and it's an interesting um, setup since it has a driver a nvidia card and the driver at this point in time is nouveau and people always say i got nvidia problems that's the most and uh, it's the number one question about um well arch linux in general and arch linux right these drivers always first off i don't know if you don't like my wallpaper here or anything like that but it's working right so you don't need to have the nvidia driver this is not being used the nvidia driver okay so you guess what the topic of the video is nvidia's drivers right so when you are launch a browser and there we are you know keyboard shortcuts we love them and we are tiling with a manager users as well so it's in our fingers right arch linux nvidia read 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 right in dutch if you want to netherlands right arch wiki or in okay you're a bit late <laughs> i pressed another keyboard shortcut so yeah it's an older machine right it's um well, it did work, right? It, we did create a great arch labs on it, so it's not that bad. Okay, continue. So, NVIDIA settings are really interesting word. NVIDIA 455 and it's an interesting idea. So, if you want to have a look what packages does Arch Linux provide, that's actually a good way maybe to start, is go in here to the packages and say, what is out there? What NVIDIA stuff is in here? It's a lot of stuff in here, but this one is the, the smallest, well, the, the most important uh, of them all, NVIDIA drivers for Linux, this line here. And all the rest, well, if you have a Linux kernel, an LTS, uh, Linux LTS kernel, then of course you need this one, stuff like that, right? Now I'm not a specialist, so all the other things, I wouldn't know what all that is, right? But basically, again, we go, as usual, to Arch Wiki NVIDIA, always. So not in Dutch, let's take English. This article covers a propriety. Oops, would be better if he just made a new tab. So new tab and do not like French English. I'm gonna go to English. If it works, probably E and whatever it is, all the way down, except US, United States. That's probably gonna be English, right? Okay, Belgium, no, Brazil, Europe, Netherlands, Romania, France, Italian, United Kingdom, English. So your drivers, GeForce drivers, all NVIDIA drivers. So you have to figure out what it is. So it's a GeForce 9600 GT. So it might be in here. Determine the necessary driver version. So this line here is what Inksy uh, supplies you as well. Let's see if I can get that. Control C. So we get a small part. This one. So but no news there we knew that determine the necessary driver version for your card finding the code name in the wiki 
looking up in the legacy card list, visiting NVIDIA driver download site. That's maybe not a bad idea to use this as well. So a lot of links, GeForce, download now, we can't do that. It's a GeForce or anything else. It's a GeForce hmm, 900 series, 9 series, 9 series. Let's see if we find it. Linux 32, sure. Another ancient time, 62. And here is a question mark, maybe it can help us. Not really. Start search. And driver results. So we have Linux x64, AMD 64 display driver. Release date 2019 23. There are multiple choices, but it's also interesting to know the number 340. What do we have? Can we do just simply pseudo pack with minus S NVIDIA? Sure, we can, right? But what do we get? Get a number, and the number is 455. That's the number here. Here they use the no number 340. So, my conclusion is, that's not the one I need, right? Control C. How about yay? Or maybe we can still look around with NVIDIA and still see if we find something else, right? But that's it. So, a little bit out of the picture here. So, no, Control C. How about yay? Is there something? about and then you type the number 340 is there something on AUR so now we're looking somewhere else we're looking here Nvidia 340 XX Nvidia drivers for Linux 340 XX legacy branch it's an old PC so you're bound to get into the legacy department right so we have here DKMS utils and 43 OpenCL no idea what it all is but what i know and that's of course after installing it this is going to work and why not get the utilities as well right so you have this num you have this nvidia if you type in the menu and you have this menu that opens up some settings of nvidia or it might be this one well we have to figure it out right tool for configuring the NVIDIA driver. So probably gonna be this one. And well, anyway, I built, I need to build, right? The information here probably would have find it as well via these links. So now I've, I've used this one, legacy card list. And then you do control find 9600. This is a GeForce, not a GeForce, and then hmm, not sure which GeForce to take, GT. Okay, so it's this line. This is the line, and what are we looking at? That's a 340 driver supports the following sets of GPU. Basically, we came to the same conclusion. 340 is the one I want. And once you know it, it's finished. You don't need any tools and only any, any hardware. Uh, investigators and automatically downloaders no you just know on my pc i'm gonna need the nvidia 340 so basically you gotta build it um one down and then you install the appropriate driver for your card install the nvidia packages nope we know it's not that one and so on and so on and so on unsupported drivers maybe you have to look in here Here's also the 340XX as reference, but DKMS, right? So that's something else. And for the rest, you can make a Pac-Man hook. To avoid the possibility of forgetting to update in, it, in its RAM file system after an NVIDIA driver upgrade, you may want to use a Pac-Man hook. Why don't I include this in the video, right? It's not that difficult. If you see it one time, you say, oh, is it? Is just that it is just that right all right 
and video settings here. Read, read, read. All right, install, install, install. I will install number one. We can actually use more lines if you want to. So one, then three. And what I would like also to have is probably number 10. So this one looks like a good one for me. And then this one looks like a good one for me. And utilities, this looks like a good one. Not sure what all that is, particularly the utilities. utilities. So Arch NVIDIA 340 utils. Go and have a look. What's in here? So you take a look at so sources, NVIDIA and run, no common run. Sys users, utilities, outputplask.conf. Any more information? Conflicts with these guys provides all these packages. Libraries. All right. So sometimes these uh, pages give you some more information, but in this case, mm, not that much. So one, three, ten. Let's do it in one go. Remove, make dependency after install. You can see yes or no. I always say no because I, you need to rebuild it and rebuild it, and you have to download it again. Then, All right? And off we go. Linux headers. You definitely need Linux headers. So either you start doing this all manually. Well, remember to do use the Linux headers, but just use yay or the, the packages from AOR, the cookers, right? The maintainers of all these recipes. I would suggest they know best. That's not always the case, but in general, they know best. And just uh, build it, build the package. Now this is, like I said, it's not a new machine. But it will do the job and you see where it is going to get its information it's coming straight from yeah sure from nvidia right it's going to get the dot run and we've made videos as well maybe it's a good thing to go to there as well because i don't want people to get lost basically on uh, youtube all the videos on youtube are just a means to get the story out and here is a story start here that's a story till here but at some point in time you want to focus on something on display printer sound but there is also something about nvidia somewhere all right maybe video video i don't know nvidia or maybe i was too quick nvidia peripherals display possible i thought there was a category since it's always so much in, well, people ask about it, right? So here it is, installing the NVIDIA driver for GeForce Run. In November 20, 2019, we just made an example, it's still gonna work. It's just a procedure, a workflow, install, uh, download the NVIDIA.run file. Basically, we're doing the same. As you see, we're doing the same, but it's then straight from there rather than from um, AUR and, and recipes and all that package builds, but just say, let's build it straight away from here. This advantage, this is Pac-Man um, based, meaning I can remove it again and Pac-Man will understand where it is, but removing here, well, it's, it has its own procedure since it's not installed via Pac-Man. And Pac-Man will not recognize all the files that you've put on it with a dot run file. So the same thing here. I think it's also the same card, I'm not sure. GTX, so X is extra, so I don't think it's the same card. So well voila, we have another video with another card. But basically it's still it boils down to always the same thing. And that's uh, figuring out the drivers. And this is April, that's in November. So lots of um, examples, how to get things working. 
and you scroll down and you hope of course that everything builds that's not always the case as you see here so we have here a problem and if it if it doesn't say anything then you're in trouble but look at this this is the settings thing right so hence the idea is better to do just one now we really don't know what happens so this one is there but we don't appear to have running error so we need to reboot but the application is there it's the settings one that seems not to have worked let's see if we can find some kind of division if we can see what installed and what did not install here we see something so here he wants to build the nvidia 340 utils not needing i'm not needing really don't think i need to have utils so we'll see um here's all patches and all that nvidia settings utils linux headers and here we are so we really don't know what we've done basically so arrow up if we can no arrow up for me too bad no arrow up for me nvidia 340 it will teach me to be to try to install lots of stuff in one go so just one remember that and well now we know if the 340 is going to be installed that's that's the main thing the others well we'll see if we need it right but this one we need it's like the nvidia 340 390 i didn't mention that but there's also a 390 and if you're wondering why all these things change and why it said here junk food loaded well it's a theme a theme from zsh and the only thing you have to remember is to zsh that's a command and it will tell you changing shell for eric change shell shell not changed well because i am already on zsh now log out you log back in and everything is uh, similar similar in the sense that every single terminal i open has a different look because we've chosen a random theme every single time so it's always a surprise what opens up i wanted to show you that there is another one right nvidia i think it's 390 have not installed it yet don't need it right it's hardware dependent i don't need it anywhere my machines but 340 is now installed basically i can reboot and we'll figure out the others if needed right again it's not needed to install it it is not needed to install it but here is another video we are still on driver nouveau it's important right to show you again because next time you boot it will be right nvidia so i have to cut the video in two here pausing not pausing but saving and we'll see each other on a nvidia machine